Okay, to get started, we're just gonna have a little warm up for our legs, arms out in front, knees nice and wide. I'm just gonna do some plain little squats. So just trying to get blood flowing. I'm gonna go through a real quick warm up today. So we're getting straight into the strength work. This is gonna be a short and snappy workout. Now we're gonna add in a little low pulse, turn into a low lunge. If you prefer, you can keep your hands across your chest. Stay as low as possible, as much as your knees will allow. Pivoting on your toes to protect those knees. Two, one, and coming back up. Now going to do some more plain squats. So knees nice and wide, arms out in front. Four, three, two, one. Coming to stand on one leg now, just gonna get a little bit of balance control as well as some ankle stability, knee and hip control. Lifting up through your opposite hip, trying to grow up as tall as you can and lifting that front top knee as high as possible. Hold, hold, hold and change. As little wobble as possible. Stay here. <laughs> How's your balance? Lift the knee a little higher, tucking the hips under. Four, three, two, one, and coming back down to our low pulse and lunge. Arms out in front, cross your chest, whichever you prefer. The work is in the legs. So it's definitely a leg dominant session today two and one and coming up beautiful shake it up okay grabbing onto our set of dumbbells our first exercise is going to be a split squat so hanging the dumbbells either side of your legs your back foot's elevated so this could be a couch or a chair ideally using a chair and we're going to stay fairly upright for our first set. We might need to shuffle your foot out a little further to get the right depth. We're very light on the back leg. So from here, keeping the body fairly upright. We do lean forward a little bit, keeping most of the weight and work through that front leg. Seven, eight reps, changing side. We're gonna go through a couple of rounds, true strength training principles. So the more upright you are, the more of a bias we have on the thigh muscle or the quads. And the more that you turn your head, the harder it is for your balance. Two, one, and have a rest. Drop them down. Now grabbing onto your kettlebell, I'm going to go through a deadlift. So weight in between your feet, tipping forward at your hips and lifting the weight up. We're not muscling it up using the arms, we're actually just letting them hang, pushing your hips right back, keeping your back fairly straight. It's okay to round a little, if you can't quite touch the ground, just come to there and then back up again. Last two. One, and relax. Okay, next exercise. We are going to come onto the ground. So a little towel for your hips, starting with your bum on the ground. Ideally the chair isn't freestanding so that it won't move when you um, come up into a bridge position. So for our first round, no weight. Our second round, we're gonna add low. If you're ready for it, you can add it right here. So weight on the hips as we push up into our hip bridge. So shoulders or shoulder blades just resting on the edge. If it's too uncomfortable, you can pop a pillow between your back and the chair. Three. Driving through your heels, four, 
five, six, seven, keep the knees wide, so eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve, and one for good measure, sorry for those of you that are superstitious, but the Italians were like lucky 13. Now we're going to come back to second round exactly the same. So this time round, we're going to come back to our split squat. Grab onto your weights, find your balance. If you can, you're going to step a little further away from the chair because we're going to try and bias the glutes. So when you're balanced, shuffling forward, hold your shoulders back when you come down into a split squat, leaning right forward. Two, should be pretty light on your back leg. Three, four, five, six. Keep that knee pressing wide. Eight, other side. And you get your balance. It helps to look on one spot. I'll count them out. Lean forward for eight, seven, Six, five, shoulders back, four, three, two, one, come me down, and our deadlift next. So we're going to try and keep your legs a little straighter this time, so more an RDL, keeping the legs relatively straight and pushing those hips right back four five feel a nice stretch six take your knees wide so feet where they are but knees pressing wide ten eleven and twelve Beautiful, second round of hip thrusts. Coming down to the ground, sitting down first. Towel or mat or cushion, whatever you're using on the hips, placing the weight on top. Now, if you found that you're feeling too much work in your hamstrings, oops, just adjust your feet a little bit. So maybe um, in a little closer, maybe a little further away, ideally we want the feet right underneath the knees. Drop down, drive up, clench your buttocks at the top, knees stay nice and wide. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, because that's one for good measure. Alrighty, now legs are a little warmer. We're gonna come into two upper body exercises, then we're done. So we're gonna make it a whole body exercise. So the first one is, we're gonna be using, pop your weights aside, we're gonna be using the chair for a front support plank. So hands inside of the chair, coming into a plank position, drive your hips forward, and then from here, we're going to come down onto your elbows. So a commando plank. We go one, two, three, four. Oops, alternating each time. Should have told you that part. Two, keeping the body nice and stiff. Last one. And spinning around for our tricep dips. You can have your legs as close or as far away as you like. So longer, it's gonna be harder. Feet closer and will be a little bit easier. Nice and tall through the upper body. Let's try straight legs. Gonna bend and push back up. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. Oh, yeah, that's good. Now our last one, I did say two, but the plank is kind of a core exercise. We're gonna do a bent forward row. So using the chair with one dumbbell, we're gonna come forward, resting your hand on the chair for balance, and same arm as back leg. We're going to try and row up using the muscles in our upper back. So not just the arm pulling up the biceps, wanting to really pull through your upper back. So leaning forward like so is actually getting our body horizontal to the ground or as close to as possible. Hold for a second or two at the top. Three, two, one, and rest. <coughs> Using come to change sides, so exactly the same on the other side. Might do it facing this way. So hand resting on, back leg, front leg for balance. Going to pull up. Lead with your elbow, but squeeze your shoulder blade close to your spine. So imagine that it's sliding inwards and upwards. Four. Three, two, one. All right, round two, and then we're all done. So we're gonna start with the plank, really focusing in on our abdominal muscles. Back's definitely working if you're feeling strain in your back. You might need to come in a little closer or just trying a knee plank on the ground. So hands as wide as the chair, maybe, depending on how wide your chair is. We're going to come into plank position. So glutes are on, lower tummies on, coming down into a commando, alternating each time. So this staying active through a plank position ensures that we are still working without fatiguing. So the muscles having to change dynamically rather than just staying on the whole time and getting tired. Three, two, one, and triceps. It's a nice little warm up for your triceps. Tricep dips, we have, excuse me, I think there was 12. No, it was 10. Mixing up the numbers here. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, bring the legs in if you need to, nine, oh, ten. All right, that's definitely working the arms. Last one, we've got our bent forward row. One hand supported, lifting your weight up from the ground, and hold for a second and release. Definitely getting the heart rate up today. Three, or is that four? Five, slowly down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Little breather. Then we change sides. Hand supported and lifting your weight up for ten. Nine. Little hold. Eight. Seven. Six. It's hard to count backwards sometimes. Five. Four. Three, especially when it's from 15. <laughs> Two, and one, one. We are all done. Nice way to get legs warm, upper body warm, and a little bit of core work. Hope you enjoyed the workout. There'll be more to come. Please let me know if you like it. See you next time.